Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 9th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, look at your world weather forecast. Always starting out looking at the sun at 304 angstroms, looking at the last 48 hours. As we still only have that one C-class to report, C-class flare, but also a CME, which is projected at Earth. We will receive a glancing blow from it. Large plasma filaments dancing around there. The cresting limb, which means those are incoming active regions. A little Earth to scale. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Watching on the left side, those that active sunspot region, which fired up and set off a C-class flare. And see on that right side, that large plasma filament taken off. Looking at multi-spectrum here, all of the events from the last 48 hours. Southern Hemisphere, CME, solar flare in the Northern Hemisphere, and another CME just in the last few frames there coming from the southern region. Also reporting something just recently on Lasco 3 and 2 as they are showing a signature of quite possibly another CME. Looking at 171 angstroms here, we can see the coronal holes, which are the dark regions. And we are already seeing the effects of this coronal hole that is earth facing. It has been for about 36 hours. And we have another one cresting around the limb. Looking here at Lasco 3, last 48 hours of imagery. And there is that last signature I was just talking about. Most likely another CME. Solar X-ray flux is in a B range. Geomagnetic activity is slightly elevated today after we are seeing the coronal hole wind stream. Our real-time solar winds are sitting at about 420, 420 kilometers per second after being up over 450 today. And then we were definitely invaded here by some space weather just in the last few hours. This is the approaching coronal hole wind stream. See those density bunches? 40.32 heavily filled cosmic charge particles. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, and it shows small blast, not in not heading in our direction, but we will receive a glancing blow. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 13, as well reporting seven hours of blackout. After yesterday, we were up to what, 71? 37 for power, 71 for amplitude, though. Definitely calmer than yesterday. Amplitude of 13, quality 8.3, power of 6. And let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours. As we were expecting some large ones, we did get them. 5.7 here rung out in Rat Islands today, 25 kilometer depth and it also ushered a tsunami watch for the region as well over into Alaska and BC and the Oregon coastline still seeing activity here off the coast of Oregon 4.4 and as well a 4.1 today both very early this morning other than that not much to talk about across the US here 3.2 there BC Mexico border Dominican Republic seeing activity today, 38 kilometer depth, 3.5. As well, Betulia, Colombia, 4.4 at 146 kilometer depth. Quiet through the South American plate today. Chile, Argentina, Borna, Argentina border, 4.5, 114 kilometer depth. And then we get to our largest earthquake today, a 6.3 rang out. Vanuatu, and this is been a very active region volcano wise and as well earthquakes the last little bit and we did just recently have a 5.0 mid-atlantic ridge 
northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And here's our deepest earthquake today, 494 kilometer depth, 4.1 Fiji. Looking at a lot of activity, Indonesia northward up into Taiwan, as well as 5.8 here ring out, ring out in the Mid-Indian Ridge, 5.8. 5.3 here in Turkey as well, Sinkik, and a 4.6 Lithakia, Greece, at a 19 kilometer depth. And as I said just recently, northern mid Atlantic Ridge, 5.1 earthquake is not on this map, but did just happen. Having a look around the world at the last seven days for earthquakes, give you an idea of how our planet is staying very active. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world, as well looking at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. As we've still got that lingering low pressure system over North America, pretty big one heading over into the United Kingdom and Ireland. We've got Dokono in Indonesia erupting, Sabinkaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Shevoluch in Russia, awakened 11 hours ago, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, as well as Fuego, Guatemala, Tsunami Watches there, Alaska, BC coastline, Katmai, United States, and Yasser, Vanuatu, and Popo in Mexico. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting across the world. Just want to put the alerts on here and have a quick look at satellite imagery across the world. We got rain moving in for the West Coast, North America, and stormy conditions moving across Indonesia. Here is the tsunami watch that went out from the 5.3 earthquake. USGS reporting 5.7. As well, we have Tropical Cyclone Philly to talk about. We've also got Malakas. And Malakas will be, as I said, joining forces with Tropical Depression number three, who has still not been named over the Philippines. Stormy conditions, South Africa. As well, stormy conditions, India. And cold conditions, North American plate. Let's ha have a look at your world weather forecast brought to you by VentuSky and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada. Watching that Alberta Clipper move eastward and still usher down quite a bit of cold temperatures with it into another low from Colorado. And then watch later next week, 12th into the 13th. Pretty big system there developing for central United States and up into Canada. Could be a, a nasty little extreme weather breakout, but going to be seeing a lot of snow as well over the next few days. Overlooking South America, got some stormy conditions heading into Buenos Aires, Argentina border. And that's for Monday into Tuesday. And then that's going to be racing off the coast. Watch for daily evaporation rains and stormy conditions through Lagos and parts of Central Africa and as well South Africa. Overlooking Europe, things are going to be drying out this week. 
high pressure ridge building in overlooking Southeast Asia low pressure center heading over Sri Lanka and southern India we've also got tropical cyclone Malakas looks like it's forecasted to just miss Tokyo Japan heading out northeastward into the Pacific and then watching over Australia here long-range forecast well first of all New Zealand tropical cyclone Philly but then we've got some extreme weather that will be breaking out next week and then we're looking long-range forecast here 18th into the 19th you got a cyclone here developing for northern territory of Australia and as well a low pressure center there off the coastline so stormy conditions heading to Australia as well overlooking the Pacific here not much to talk about for Hawaii this week daily evaporation rains and you got a system there coming in 14th to the 15th could see some big rains gonna leave you here looking at the total snowfall accumulations that are expected here for the next 10 days across the United States and Canada that's quite a bit of snow over 120 centimeters falling in parts of Oregon 83 centimeters falling in parts of Sierra Nevadas Northern California stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due this has been Mike with daily events worldwide bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.